What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pharaoh and in today's episode we're going to talk all about the corn snake. So we're going to go over basic information, care, and personality. I'll introduce you to our corn snake. This is Salsa and you can see why we named her Salsa. She definitely has a Salsa coloration to her body. Absolutely beautiful and you can see how that yellow kind of fades up to that orange. And then right on the belly, you'll see that this snake's got beautiful kind of a checkered kind of pattern there. Just a beautiful snake to look at. Just, look, I mean, take a look at those colors. Look at that. And right now she's about 24 to probably 35 inches. So this snake is in the family Colubridae and is in the genus Pantherophis. So the corn snake is actually a type of rat snake. This snake is capable of growing a little over 70 inches in length. Now you can actually find these guys all over the east coast of the United States. The corn snake is a constrictor, so he will use his body to wrap around its prey and eventually swallow it whole. Now out in the wild, these snakes will eat mice, rats, birds, lizards, bats, frogs, and pretty much anything they can get a hold of. Here we feed Salsa one rat pup about once a week. And as you can see, Salsa absolutely loves eating her food. Now you'll notice when snakes eat, they almost always eat head first. Now this is so that way it's a lot easier for them as it's going down their throat. You're also going to notice the skin stretching just a little bit as well. That's to help the rat go down its throat and move through its body. So like I said you guys, these snakes live all over the east coast of the United States. They'll do well in a lot of different habitats. And again, these are not picky snakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys our enclosure that we have for salsa. So for salsa, we've got a 40 gallon tank. We've got plenty of furniture. We have a hide on the right side. We have a hide in the middle of the tank. And we have a hide a little bit higher on the top left corner of the tank, right at the top of that branch. I've added some leaves, some moss, to make it look a little bit more natural. And for the substrate, I use Reptibark. Keep in mind guys, there are a lot of different ways you can keep these snakes. There is no perfect way or just one way. There are several different options. For lighting, we have two lamp fixtures at the top, one for day, one for night. The day bulb is 75 watts, and the night bulb is 50 watts. The warmest part of the tank during the day is going to be at about 88 degrees. Cooler areas of the tank are going to be at about 82 degrees. So breeding season usually takes place in March and in May. Late May, early July, they're going to lay their eggs. And a female will lay anywhere between 10 to 30 eggs, sometimes a little bit more. So they're usually going to lay their eggs in a place where it's rotting vegetation, so they have a little bit of incubation going on. And the eggs will incubate anywhere between 60, sometimes 70 days, and then they'll soon hatch in September. When they hatch, they're only about maybe 9 to 14 inches in length. So this is a snake that also lives in Florida, so I love using this snake for our wildlife demonstrations. Predators that this snake needs to look out for out in the wild would be birds of prey, raccoons, foxes, little babies swimming across a pond could get eaten by a fish or maybe even a turtle. And if they live in Florida, the Florida king snake. As always guys, when handling, always hold with care, always hold with respect, don't grab the snake, no fast movements. Let the snake kind of move through your hands as if you were to be a branch or a tree. And the snake is going to be a lot better off and is going to feel just a lot better. When taken care of properly, this snake can live a little over 20 years in captivity. Now the corn snake is an extremely common pet in the pet trade. Um, next to ball pythons, I'm actually not sure which one is more uh, popular right now. But uh, this is definitely an extremely popular snake in the pet trade. If you go to 
a pet store, uh, you're probably going to find a, a corn snake. I think you probably know a friend or family member that has a corn snake. Again, uh, a very common pet and I think the reason for that uh, is because they are incredibly hardy animals. Their personality is great, they're easy to take care of, and they don't get very big. As you can see, the temperament is, is fantastic. Uh, very nice, friendly snake. And if you handle your snake on a regular basis, you could very well have a snake that's just as calm and relaxed as this one right here. So if you're thinking about getting a snake, this is definitely a wonderful option and something that I uh, strongly recommend. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed the show, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to support my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you again on the next episode.